Listen, NVIDIA just cracked our all new high. Listen, making the biggest bet in AI history. Up to $100 billion invested in OpenAI, another hot company that is reshaping the world. Now listen to me, this is truly not just about one company or one stock. To me, it's more so about who controls the future of the artificial intelligence game. Now, whether NVIDIA can stay on top and be the king or Will China truly cut the legs from other Needham? Because here's what we understand. We understand that China just told companies like Badu and Alibaba, listen, don't buy NVIDIA's chips no more. Then we saw in NVIDIA earnings that NVIDIA did not report any sales from China, which put us on alert. Now, stay with me. Stay with me and understand this with me. In the end of this video, I'm going to talk to you why Jin Xinhuan, NVIDIA CEO, might be building the next Apple of AI. And here's what I mean by that. We know when Apple came in the game, it was the most dominant player for years. Apple just truly moved the market whichever way it went. Also, I think this is the John D. Rockefeller moment. This is the Dale Carnegie moment. This is the J.P. Morgan Chase moment as we go into the next revolution. Remember, we had the Industrial Revolution. Companies like oil and these big factories truly uh, forward and with the line of people, right? Um, the assembly line. I think this is that moment, right? Where AI is changing the game and it's happening so, 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 so fast, right? Well, what happened was John D. Rockefeller dominated the world because of what he did with oil. J.P. Morgan dominated the world. Why? How they financed the world. Dale Carnegie dominated the world. Why? Because of what they did with what? Steel production. This is that moment, y'all. When you make a hundred billion dollar bet, Jin Sin Wang is truly moving some pieces on the board. He is not being a pawn. Remember, China and America is trying to move him like a pawn. He went out and made some big deals and partnered with some different things to let it be known. NVIDIA is here to stay. So before we get into the video, I want you to like, subscribe, and share this with somebody. Because this is going to be one of those videos that truly make you say, hmm, Trap might be onto something. So let's get it, y'all. NVIDIA is the king of hardware when it comes to AI. When we think about hardware, we think about open AI being the king of what? Software. Together, they form an AI supply chain. Now, here's a simple picture that I wanted to make sense of you. It's like Apple controlling both the iPhone and the App Store. Right? You, you, get that, you get that idea? The iPhone is the hardware, the app store becomes the software. Right? So look at it this way. Hardware equals the physical machines. Think of the body, you know, the chips, the GPUs, the data centers. Power. NVIDIA makes the muscle. Then you think about software, I want you to think about the brain, the code, the models, the apps. OpenAI does what? They write the intelligence that runs the hardware. Now, if you own the body, and the brain, you control how everything moves. This is truly how you scale something so powerful like AI. Let's think about it like this. NVIDIA is the king of hardware when it comes to AI. Open AI is the king of software when it comes to AI. Together, they form a lock of the AI super chain. And the reason why I said super chain is because now everything flows through those two companies. Let's put it simple like this. Think about Apple controlling the iPhone and the App Store all at once. Whereas hardware versus software, right? Let's give an idea of what that is. The hardware is the physical machines. Think of it like the body, right? The chips, the GPUs, the data center, the power, right? NVIDIA becomes the muscle that powers AI. Now, when you think about software and open AI, they the finesse, they the brain, they the code, they the models, they the apps. Open AI writes the intelligence that runs the hardware. Now, together you have a super chain. That's why I said it like that, right? Because now, if everything goes through them and you control the brain and the body, then you control how everything moves. Kind of like Frank White said, if a nickel bag gets sold in the park, I want in. Now, why does that make sense? Let's, let's break this down just a little bit more, y'all. So here's what we understand. Think about it like this. ChatGPT has 700 million weekly actives. That's insane. 
this will just be this is out of this world. Now, Gemini has 450 monthly actives. This is also like this would be at a billion in no time. Anthropic, 5x their revenues from 1 billion to 5 million in eight months. Zuck is ready to spend 600 billion by 2028, and that's conservative. And Apple hasn't even even unveil what they gonna do in the game. And you know they coming. At some point, we know they all coming, y'all. So here's what I really want us to understand. Here's what I really want us to truly tap into as we dig deeper into this. This is why this is a story that we really gotta get into. Think about it at scale. A hundred billion dollars is what? The largest AI infrastructure commitment in history. With 10 gigawatts of power, that's like powering a small country, y'all. The first gigawatt will be online in 2026. That means thousands of chips, massive data, new energy grids, cooling systems. All of this is on the way. This is not a, jo a joke, y'all. Imagine building a small city, but instead of houses, you have supercomputers that never sleep. This is what that's going to look like. Think about your neighbor just being number supercomputers. This is more than just a stock deal, y'all. It's a ripple into real estate, energy, and even your electric bill. Now, why did NVIDIA really do this? Wait a minute. Before we go any further, I want to do something right quick that's really, really important. I want to take a minute right now to show you what this actual deal, as soon as it hit the market, what it did for me. As soon as this deal hit the market today, here's what happened for us today, right? In the Patreon group, listen to me, man. We in an NVIDIA call for $200. That call went through the roof. We made a hundred and something. This is me personally. I made $103,000 on this call just today. Also, with the Oracle and TikTok news, $14,000. Just in the Patreon today on these two plays, y'all. Out of the park. But I don't want to just talk about myself. I want to talk about other people in the group too. One of my members said, damn, bro, I got, I got out for a hike, came back to some chaos, NVIDIA printing, baby, second 1K day in a week. He's in an NVIDIA 115 car. That was an old car that we had that he stayed in. He's up 594%. And he's in an NVIDIA 200 car for March. That's up 85%. I want to go a little further right quick to highlight one more of my people, man. Um, he said, Trap, man, listen, this is my first 100K, Trap. We trap, and I truly want to thank God and also thank you for showing us how to operate the machine that we call the stock market. Listen to me, family. If you truly want to come join us and you truly want to come into an environment of investors that are truly getting money, that are truly buying back their freedom, yes, we take some losses, but we win more than we lose. The ultimate goal is to use the stock market as our keys to freedom getting our reparations out the market because I truly believe that the options market is 100% how we buy back our freedom. So if you want to come to the joint Patreon, click the link below, get in the Patreon. I got to be in the top tier because that's the tier that get the options and the live charting sessions. And that options tier gets a call once a month. Let's go. NVIDIA already dominates the GPUs. 94% of all AI GPUs sold today come from them. Also, Gen C1 knows that rivals are coming. Google is having TPUs. Amazon coming with AWS chips. Meta is designing its own silicon. But also, the biggest one came when Broadcom said, hey, we will be the NVIDIA competitor. Now, I'm not going to lie. I think Broadcom definitely is going to be a threat, but... They do so many other things. Now, China, they truly went to their people and say, yo, we cutting NVIDIA off. So they being used as a pawn in the game. And I don't really know how I think. I think Jin C. Wan just like, hey, I'm not about to let nobody chop me below by the, lead, by the knees. So here's what he does. He's locking in OpenAI, the hottest company on the planet, as a long-term customer. He already invested in Coalweave, which is cloud compute. Then he partnered with Intel to hedge their supply. Now open AI, it becomes his killer app partner, right? He's making sure NVIDIA is not just a chip maker, but 100% AI in a nutshell. He's making sure that they become the supplier. He's making sure that you can't get a chip. You can't do AI. You can't do artificial intelligence. Without him. And I think that in itself is pure genius. Now, think about this. For NVIDIA, it becomes guaranteed demand. 
billions in revenue locked in. For OpenAI, they get cheaper, faster access, access to compute. It fused ChatGPT, the fastest growing consumer app in history. For rivals, it becomes harder for them to get in the game, harder for them to compete. They need billions more in chips, energy, and time. Now, for the economy, you got to think. Data centers, commercial real estate boom, power grids, they're going to be strained for opportunity. But also, we can think about cloud providers, utilities, REITs. They all will benefit from this deal. Think about like building railroads in the 1800s. Whoever lays the tracks down owns the future. You ever go look at this thing called the men who made America? One of the most important things is the race to build railroad tracks. That's where we at right now. Now, on the other side, that's a lot of energy. 10 gigawatts of energy could strain every grid in the game and it could cause a backlash. The execution now happens now because you have delays, you have supply chain hiccups, the cost could overrun. Then you have some regulations that could come in with antitrust. The U.S. may ask NVIDIA, do y'all got too much power? The same thing they do with Meta, the same thing they did with Apple, the same thing they did with JP Morgan, the same thing they did. We see history repeating itself, y'all. Here's something that can be true. Open AI then becomes dependent on NVIDIA. If NVIDIA stumbles, open AI stalls. And that truly could be a game changer. This could be the moment NVIDIA becomes untouchable. Or it could be the moment that regulators and rivals circle to take it down. Again, this is their John D. Rockefeller. This is their J.P. Morgan. This is the Dale Carnegie moment, y'all. So what does it mean for me and you as investors? NVIDIA isn't just a chip company anymore, y'all. No, 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 no. It's becoming the foundation of AI. For the models you see every day to power the grid that run them. This is either... The John D. Rockefeller of AI or the riskiest hundred billion dollar bet that we've ever seen. I want to know, do you think that NVIDIA stays the king AI or is this deal the beginning of the end? If you also want to know what other stocks that I think could benefit this AI expansion, I want you to comment below because we got another video coming right now. Man, look, man, it's your boy, The Wall Street Trapper. I want you to like, subscribe. I hope this video truly helped. I hope we truly painted a picture that helped you see how powerful and how monumental this deal is. But also, it's time for us to make some money, y'all. We can't afford to be on the sidelines watching these companies invest hundreds of billions of dollars and we just be on the sideline looking. We, not be make, we may not be making hundreds of billions of dollars, but we can show sure make $1,000, $10,000, $5,000, $100,000, Whatever it takes, we can be making that while they making their ring to the top. It's your boy, The Wall Street Chopper. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you share this video, man. Salute.